Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Baking with Babies. What are we making today? Baggage. Waffles. <laughs> uh, so this is a recipe that I grew up um, making all the time and my parents made for um, my friends and I all the time. So this is having a shout out to Erin and Katie today. We're shouting out to Erin and Katie because we used to eat these all the time when we were growing up. But today is a very special day. Today is Fanon and my anniversary, our 11th anniversary. And this was a request today from Liam that we make waffles. So we figured why not if we're gonna make waffles today. So you will need uh, flour, eggs, melted butter, milk, which we put over here for safekeeping, uh, sugar, baking powder, <laughs> salt, um, we also like to put um, uh, nutmeg and cinnamon in some of our waffles, but on doesn't like spices, so we keep them um, separate. We add them in at the end. Um, so we'll go through the process and then we'll add them in at the end, but we want to put them um, out there on the table because we like we like to do those. So, all right, so we're actually, we're going to start with dry ingredients. You want to help me measure out some flour? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you'll need two cups of flour. You ready? You ready with your bowl to mix? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So one. Here you go. You take your spoon. Take your spoon. Okay. Right. Pour the first one in. Help me. One. One. Two. 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 <laughs> nice job. Okay. Make sure that's mixed up. Nice. All right, and then we're gonna put three teaspoons of baking powder. Whoopsie. All right. All right. Baking powder. Baking powder, yeah. We've got our baking powder. And then what are, what are these? Teaspoons. All right, Mama, we'll help you open this. Okay, so we need three of these, okay? Ready? Ready? One. Another one. That was one. What's the next one? Two. And one, two, three. Okay. Can you mix that up for me, please? And it calls for a teaspoon of salt. We usually don't put that much in. Um, oh, lovely mixture. <laughs> Raisins on the side, covered in flour. So I usually put about this much in. It's usually about half a teaspoon in there and let's mix it all up yeah nice job <laughs> yep we'll, we'll use this um, for the eggs in a second Do you Liam, Liam, Liam. Liam spoon is that Liam spoon so you mix that all up all the dry ingredients up and if if everybody in your house likes spices now's a good time to add uh, the cinnamon and the nutmeg or whatever um, kind of sweet spices that you would want in there and um, it's just seasoned to taste so if you like it really spicy put a lot in if you don't like it quite as spicy don't put as much in no you like spicy you don't like spices yeah hmm i think you do actually do you like cinnamon yeah. you like nutmeg yeah yeah then you like some spices all right so we'll put this aside i'm sorry i actually forgot the sugar hang on an important part. So we need two tablespoons. We're gonna put tablespoons of sugar in. Help me put in. And we kind of make them heaping tablespoons, so it's technically a little bit more um, than two tablespoons. Alright. And then we'll set. You're making up. Well, you are mixing it up. Thank you, sir. <laughs> We're making towel up. You are. Nice job. All right, so we'll mix the dry ingredients and then we'll set them aside. You all right there, too? A little too much flour on your raisins? All right, so we'll set those aside. And we have already cracked two of our eggs. Have you already cracked your eggs? Where are your eggs? And show everybody how to crack the eggs in your bowl. Crack them in your bowl. Oh, this one's a hard one. <laughs> it's a very hard one. Shall we try this one instead? Mm -hmm. Try this one instead. Oh, nice job. Okay, put them in your bowl. Mix them up. So you want two eggs and you're gonna mix them up really, really well. And then you're gonna have a cup and a half of milk. Mix them up, mix them up, mix them up. Mix them up. 
mix, 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 mix. There you go. And we, um, this little spatula here that Liam's using, we got um, at the King Arthur Flower Company and all of their kid baking tools you can actually use as real baking tools. They just happen to be tiny, so we really, really like them. So you add your milk, a cup and a half of milk to your eggs and mix them up really, 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 really well. You do like buying it. So buying it in Irish uh, means milk. So milk gets called buying it in our house. And you do like buying it. So you're then going to add six tablespoons of butter yep. that we've melted already. So let's set this aside for a second. So it's cooled down. So it's not going to cook the eggs. That's a really important part. You want to make sure that it's cooled down enough it won't cook the eggs. And keep mixing. Mix, 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 mix. Nice. And just make sure um, you can also use, um, oh, not too hard, not too hard. Keep it in the bowl. Um, you can also use vegetable oil for um, instead of the butter if you prefer. Um, and it works just as well. All right. All right. So now we're going to add our dry ingredients our flour and baking powder and salt and sugar. We're going to add them um, fairly gradually. Um, you don't want to over mix the mixture, um, your batter, um, because then it just makes it tougher. <laughs> Can you put these in your bowl, please? Extra eggs today. I'm gonna make sure you add all of them. No, no, keep them in yours, too. <laughs> them in yours. All right, help mama mix this one up. No, no, they go in yours. Can you help me mix this one up? Nice job. So you don't, whoa, slowly. You don't wanna over mix or it makes the batter tough once you go to bake it. But you want to make sure that it's mixed up enough so that you don't get kind of close to the flour. More eggs? More yeah. eggs? Well, I think we have enough in our batter for today. Um, so we often double this recipe because we like it so much and um, it freezes really well and then toasts up really, really well as well. But today we're just going to do a single recipe, but we often, for those of you interested, you're getting, are you getting your waffle iron? Okay, go get your waffle iron. Okay. So the next step, as Liam is telling you, is to go preheat your waffle iron. So we're going to do that. I'll see you in just a second. If it's possible to avoid. Yep. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we're going to, we've preheated our um, waffle irons and we're going to ladle our batter in. Are you ready? Yeah? So we have some non-stick waffle pans, so we don't have to use any cooking spray on them, um, but you're welcome to do so, and we also have a very special waffle iron here as well. So um, so this uh, recipe, um, you may have to adjust how much. Can you see it? Who's on that? Becky. Um, so you may have to adjust how much batter you put in for kind of these specialty waffle irons, but um, you absolutely can use them. And Liam, are you ready to put your batter into your waffle iron? You ready? Yeah? Who, bro who brought you this waffle iron? Do you remember? Uncle Manus and Uncle Mike. Yeah, so we're giving a huge shout out to them. We make waffles all the time in our house, whether it's in our kitchen or in Liam's kitchen. So. You're gonna take just a ladle, um, usually is about a quarter of a cup, I think is like a, just a rough estimate, but it's essentially however big um, your waffle iron is, uh, you wind up putting some in. So you usually do kind of a starter run, and we test it just to make sure that the temperatures are okay. And we usually have ours kind of a little above middle. Um, you can see it's between three um, and four and it goes up to five. Um, and we usually flip um, ours around about halfway through as well. So we'll put that down, see how we do, and we'll see you in just a bit. <laughs> so everybody, while we are waiting for our waffles, 
to bake in our perspective waffle irons. We're listening to some fantastic music today um, by a wonderful um, instrumentalist, Shelly Phillips. Um, and I was introduced to her music when I was 11. So when I was eating these waffles um, from this recipe from for years and years and years when I was uh, much, much younger, um, I went on a trip uh, to the cloisters up in New York City, um, a fantastic museum. And I heard this just fabulous music um, playing um, just kind of all around uh, the museum. And so when I was leaving, I asked, um, you know, whoever was working there what they were playing and they handed me a cassette tape, this is how long ago it was, a cassette tape of uh, Shelley Phillips music. And so I bought that and I've been listening to it for years and years and then later on in life I met Fanon and he said, oh, I used to tour with her on um, one of the Irish tours that I did. I said, of course you did. So it was kind of lots of things kind of, you know, all crossing and um, finding each other, um, you know, along the waves of destiny or fate or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, so we thought we'd listen to her today as it's kind of a, a cool way to tie in all of these different bits and pieces. So please do go check her out. Um, as I said, uh, Fanon knows her. I don't know her at all, but I still love and enjoy her music. So please go uh, listen to her stuff um, and enjoy your Sunday um, or Saturday as it is Saturday baking. <laughs> Are we ready to check our waffles? Yeah. Alright, let's come check our waffles, see if they're ready. Come on. Let's come see. Alright, everybody, we're checking our waffles to see how they're doing. <gasps> they look perfect. We flipped ours over so you can see. This is the top side that we had the first time. We flipped them over just to make sure that they're cooked evenly. So we'll take them off and set them aside. And you can, if not everybody's ready to eat right away, you can always toss them back into the hot um, waffle iron and um, warm them up again. It works really, really well. Liam, are we going to check your waffle iron? Let's see how your waffles are doing. Let's check your waffle iron. How are they doing? Oh my goodness, they look wonderful. And are those strawberries? Our strawberries. This recipe, just saying everybody, is perfect with strawberries, a little bit of powdered sugar as well. So, should we say happy baking, everybody? Happy baking, everybody. Happy baking, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>